In this video, we will look at the code G67 Rectangle Window. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. As we continue our look at the patterns available to us, in this video we will be discussing G67 Rectangle Window. We can define G67 as follows. With a tool of length P and width Q, an opening with a length I parallel to the x-axis and a width J parallel to the y-axis is punched. The parameters for G67 are I, J, P, Q. We saw in the last video that we can punch a cutout with a small tool using G67 with K. What if the cutout is really big? It may not be very efficient to actually punch out the opening completely. It will take many hits, which means excessive tool wear, and an extended punching time on the machine. G67 was created for this reason. It will punch around the window, only leaving us with a scrap piece in the middle. This means that we must stop the machine after G67 is finished, so the operator can retrieve the scrap piece. We should never move our material with a scrap piece loose on the table. We will use M00 for this. More on that later. Let's break this down. I is the length of the window. J is the width of the window. P is the length of the punch used. Q is the width of the punch used. If we look at this example, we have a hole that is 20 inches by 18 inches, with an origin at X2, Y4. We will be using a 1.25 square punch in station T210. We know we will be using G67, therefore there will be scrap to be removed. Keep in mind that G67 will punch counterclockwise from the starting point we assign, so the last hit will be close to where the first hit is. This is important because once the last hit is punched, the scrap is detached and we must stop the machine. We would like that the scrap be accessible to the operator. If we give the origin point in the bottom left corner, then once the punching is complete, the scrap part will be hidden in the turret. It would be better to start at the upper right of the window. Let's go straight to punch sim and write a program. So, G72, X22, Y22, which is the top right hand corner of the window, G67, I minus 20, which is the length of the window. J minus 18, which is the width of the window. P, 1.25, which is the length of the tool. Q, 1.25, which is the width of the tool. And T, 210, which is the tool station. M00, G50. M00 will stop the machine and wait for the operator to push start again. At this point, the operator can retrieve the scrap piece. When he pushes start, the machine will execute the next line in the program. M00 can be used anytime in a program when we need to stop the machine. We can simulate, and there is our window cutout. Note that P and Q are always positive values. The tool offset will always be on the inside of the window. Also, I must be three times the value of P, and J must be three times the value of Q. There is no option for wire joints using G67. As you can imagine, because the G67 code requires us to stop the machine, which is not something we want in production, it is rarely used. 
Let's look at an example of an alternative way to program the same part but with wire joints to keep the scrap piece attached. This way we do not have to stop the machine. We see how using G66 lines can create as many wire joints as we want and still punch around the window. It's obviously longer to program but will be faster on the machine. It all comes down to deciding how much time we want to invest on the programming side. If we were only punching a couple of parts, the extra programming time would not be worth the effort. But if we were punching a hundred parts, then it would be best to invest more time on the program. G67 gives us a quick and easy way to punch a rectangle window. This covers the G67 rectangle window command. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.